Cassio sounds good here. The reason why I'm picking Cassiopeia is because Cassiopeia's sustained damage is really high, which would make her good at killing high HP targets like Maokai, Warwick, and Vladimir, as well as her having a favorable matchup against Vlad mid. Her weakness is being ganked early, but Warwick is not a champion that ganks early. Now, you might be asking, Pobelter, how do you know whether to start Corrupting Potion or Doran's Ring on Cassiopeia? I used to watch Faker all the time and he would always go Corrupting Potion on Cassiopeia. And the answer is most of the time right now, Doran's Ring, because as you know, League of Legends had the patch change where if you use the spell, um, like the targeted spell, you will draw aggro from it, on top of, you know, that strategy just being nerfed, raw numbers wise. As well as Doran's Ring synergizing overall better with Presence of Mind letting you shove out the wave when you level up, and then just letting you spam your skills on the wave and then get mana back from Doran's Ring. So overall, I can recommend Doran's Ring. Where's looking for level 2 gank? Well, I guess I'll start going in. Him. Flash. And assuming Warwick got leashed by their bot lane, I'll upside. Oh, it was a wrong assumption. We got him. I did. Fine. Not gonna be able to base for a little bit. I mean, I'm not sure why Vlad has TP level 1 if he has Spellbook, you know? Like, I probably should have died there. And he didn't even TP back to lane. Anyway, they're doomed. Anyway, Cassie's really strong this patch because Archangels gives 20% CDR now. As opposed to 0, so you can just bypass going Morellos. Well, I mean, this game I'm gonna get, well, what used to be Morellos, which is now whatever the fuck it's called. I can choose to, um... Try and harass Vlad as he gets this big wave I've sacked up, or I can go for a roam. See my jungler is fighting, so I might walk in. He's kinda hovering between, but he's back. In. I need to get this one anyway. I'll walk in now. Help him out, their blue will be coming up eventually too. Side track on Warwick. Get pushed off of it. Just staying on this blast cone, seeing if I should take it or not. Oh yeah. Not a VQ. Oh, splash kill. Oh wow, he got him with fucking Comet. And then my lane is freezing right here, so this is really good, so I'm just gonna play aggressively. As the lane is freezing, he will miss CS. If I trade. Yeah, push him up to CS. Oh, he's overextended here. We can get his flash at least. And then his Q just wore off and he couldn't use the empowered, so he's kind of fucked right now. His pool will still be down as I bring this into turret. So I can pressure him off a bit. For Warwick here too. Wow. Oh, why did he break it? Fine. That's deep. I know his TP is down from earlier, so I'm gonna stay for this wave as he just spawned and keep hitting the turret. And I have Rowan base. They took out my pink, so I need to get a pink when I base. Uh, I could stay for the turret here, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Vlad would make it back and fuck up my reset timing, so I'll just base here. We can push down mid turret together. My jungler just covers me. Oh, our bot's getting fucked. Oh, we see their jungler bottom, so I can just walk up and take this on my own. So I'll just deny the CS while the turret dies. Okay, I'll get it. If I go to this blue, they can collapse on me, but I know Vlad's lane ward is here, so it doesn't see me walking to blue. And I don't think they can kill me even if Maokai comes. He's just going for the top push. 
so I can get this loop. And then Maokai is greeting to try and proxy the wave, so I can cut this too. I'm just losing one wave mid for it. Janna is here covering me. Maokai probably is flash. I can get him still. Well, my wave is slow pushing to him because we're ahead in the XP, so I'm just gonna push out my wave and boost for Seraph. So I don't have a mid tier 1 turret, so unless I push this out, it's gonna stack up and I'd miss this wave and the whole next wave if I base right now. So I need to push this before I base. Kind of dangerous to go out for that mid wave right now. They're all missing and they're not stopping our rip. Okay, we see them all now. Alright. Actually, this looks bad as fuck. This looks so bad. Stunned Warwick with my ulti there, so there is no chance of them killing me. One thing people don't really know about Cassiopeia, WE comes out really fast. Feels really nice. <laughs> Karthus! Huh, Karthus against Ryze doesn't sound that fun. Jesus, I don't want to play Cassiopeia again. There's no answer otherwise though, because Ryze is so fucking OP right now. Nice cheese! Nice duo Q. Nice fucking life. Well, I have no choice. I want to play aggressively, but I have to let this pull towards me. Or I'm gonna die to a game. Maybe I can get a trade kill. <laughs> he really ganked again. He didn't do a single camp. He was just waiting there the whole time. Legit, the only camp he's done is red buff. I guess I just have to farm this up. I'm pretty behind now. He's probably looking for another mid pink, gotta be honest. Lee Sin still has flash, but Ryze does not. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so weird. See him. Semper Fidelis. What a game. I guess it's good practice.
area, dude. Well, this game was nothing special. I did my job as I got ganked 10 times in a row. Let's go with you.